Hey everybody, just back here with another video. Um, so today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the recent uh, polls that just came out yesterday, September 1st. Now before I do that, I just want to again let you guys know that it would really, really uh, help me out and I really appreciate it when you do like and subscribe to the videos and to the channel as it does really help me grow. And I do appreciate every single one of you who does that. Uh, also let me know what you think in the comment section as I also enjoy reading and engaging with your comments as well. So to get back into it here, now a lot of people are looking at these numbers on the left here, with the popular vote projection, and they see Jugmeet Singh in the NDPs at 17%, which currently would mean that they're in third place. But when you go over to the right with seat projection, the NDP is actually in fourth place, and that's what matters. That's what really either wins or loses an election for you. It's not the popular vote, it's, it's how many seats you need. You need to win more seats than anyone else. If you get 172 or more, you get a majority government. The NDP is going down to 16. I believe they have 20, high 20s, almost 30 members right now, but they're going to lose some seats. So for a lot of those people who are wondering, you know, how come Jagmeet Singh is such a coward? Why won't he call an election? Is it just his pension? It's also the fact that if he goes to fourth place, it's going to be very hard for his party and his supporters to keep their support for him because they know he just he'll he'll never win an election. He's not near popular enough, and he's a fraud, and he's a coward, etc., etc., etc. Everything we already know. So, like, let's just say he did call an election now or in September. If he comes in fourth place. He could potentially be ousted by his party, not as a member of parliament, but by the leader of his party before um, before he gets his pension. Now, that being said, he would also have to lose a by-election to lose his pension, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if, if that's going to be happening um, you know, before February, but either way, he doesn't want to lose his position as leader of the party. It's a pretty nice, comfy job he's got right now, just propping up Justin Trudeau and then complaining about him on the other hand, making himself look or he's pretending to make himself look like he's the only other good option. Well, this number right here says Canada's not falling for it. So if he calls an election now, he's going to he's going to essentially demote his party down to fourth place. Because if you look up here, the bloc is at 34. The bloc is only going to get seats in Quebec. NDP has all the rest of Canada get seats, and they're going to lose to the bloc. That's really going to hurt Jagmeet Singh's reputation, and it should. I mean, he's already heard it enough by all the stupid interviews he's had, not knowing what apples and potatoes are, you know, things like that. He's just, he's such a donut. I mean, it, it, no one respects him, no one likes him, and he's losing support. So, uh, to go with the rest of the polls here, it looks like the Liberals are going to be at 81 seats, which is a huge hit, and then the Conservatives all the way up to 210 I think it's going to be closer to this 233 number here. All right, it gives you a range just below the number. I think this is where the conservatives are going to, they might even be more than that by the time the election actually comes around. But it, it's just very interesting to see that all this pandering that Jugmeet Singh has been doing, talking about, oh, Pierre Polyev and Justin Trudeau, they're, the, they're both out there to hurt you. But no one trusts him to believe, or no one trusts Jugmeet Singh enough to believe that he's the one who would actually make some change. Nobody. I mean, it's just, and I can, I, I live in Hamilton Center, right? So this is an NDP cesspool. Even Hamilton Center is starting to lean a little, not lean conservative, but there's going to be more conservative votes, including mine, in this ex, uh, next upcoming election. More than usual, for sure. I don't think we'll, the conservatives will win the seat. That would be a huge shock, but I think it's going to be a lot closer than people think. So even the seats that the Liberals and NDPs do win, it's they're not going to win many by a blowout. Conservatives are going to win a lot by a blowout. So if you're Jugmeet Singh and you're thinking to yourself, well, I'm thinking about ending the coalition just after I get my pension. Well, okay, his pensions will be all said and, and, and done. That's why I do think he will wait. I think he's going to wait for his pension. And then after a couple months after that, then he'll call an election so that he's all secure. And then when he comes in fourth place, which he probably will, he will likely be removed as the party leader. I mean, I don't see another a reason for the NDP to pick him to go through another election cycle. We've heard his message. We know he's a dummy. We know he's a donut. We, we, we know that he's very unpopular and very, very unlikable. He's been kicked out of parliament many times, by the way, for insulting other members of parliament. 
I mean, it's just, and I actually, I, I've heard, I don't know if this is true, but I actually heard that he's not even allowed back in India either for, I'm, I'm not well versed on why. This is just what I've heard. So let me know in the comments section uh, if you've heard of that as well. Um, but yeah, this is really interesting and also funny. And it's also great news. Less and less people are voting for the liberals and the NDPs in a very liberal country. So this is really great news if you are a conservative or if you are just voting conservative because you feel like there's just no other option for you, like myself. I would be voting for the PPC if they had a leader who wasn't a complete coward, but that's not the case. That's probably why he's only at 3%. But this video, I'm not going to waste too much time talking about uh, the People's Party until they get their shit together. This this video is more just trashing the NDP because they're so bad. And at this point, it's just getting laughable. Fourth place. It looks good on you, Jugmeat. That's going to be it for this video today, guys. Don't forget to let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help this channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have